Hi, I want to welcome you to Psych 295, the online basic statistics course, and take an opportunity to orient you a little bit to the Blackboard course site and to the Applia software site um, to help you get started this upcoming week. So uh, under announcements, uh, if you click on the video introduction, that's how you listen to this video uh, with some useful information and tips to get going. And then from there, just follow the links on the left-hand side of your screen. And the first one you should start on is the Getting Started link. Uh, these are the activities that you're going to be engaged in this first week of the semester. And it gives you an opportunity to read the syllabus and uh, get to know Blackboard a little bit. You'll have an opportunity to introduce yourself and uh, make a reply to your classmates' introductions. And then if you click on this link, it's going to take you to a site, um, the App Applia course site, and this exact link is sprinkled throughout the entire course. And so when you click on that, it uh, is going to take you to this course site right here. And let's see, let's go to the student view. This is what you'll see on the opening page and it maps out the assignments, activities, practice activities that you'll have um, week by week, starting with this first week. And the first week, the, the exercises are just practice exercises designed to get you familiar with um, the Applia course site. The following week, where you start into uh, Unit 1 that covers Chapter 1, the, the, the uh, links that you'll see here will be the same from week to week. There will be a link for you to excuse me, go to the online version of the book, uh, read it online. You can, there's also a feature where you can um, click on a link that will, um, a voice will come on and it will actually read the book to you if you don't want to read it to yourself. And then the first activity, which is due on Wednesdays, are called individual engagement problems. Uh, and there's, these are from the back of the chapter, problems in the back of your textbook. These are not scored. These are practice problems, and you have uh, multiple tries to try to get to the right answer, uh, and they're not formally scored by Applia, but I give you a point. I'll award a point for every single one that you do, so they are worth points. And the utility of doing as many practice problems as you can are that uh, the homework problems, which are scored, are very much like the practice problems. And so Doing the practice problems on Tuesday will get you set up to do well on the homework problems on Thursday. And then uh, working through the uh, getting started module, uh, those are the activities. You'll also have an opportunity to create a group charter. And this is a, a document that lines out how you'll be working with your fellow group members. And to figure out what group you're in, just click on groups and it will take you to um, the discussion group that you're assigned. And then there's also links for student services at Boise State, how to prepare for the, the online testing center exams and so forth. So the units, click on units and it lines out week by week uh, what the activities are. Uh, and this syncs up with the way things are laid out in the Applia um, course site as well. And under reading, you know, which is on Tuesday, You'll also see several videos that um, are based upon the chapter. There are three and four minute videos focused on specific aspects of the chapter. So I encourage you to read the chapter first, at least scan it, scan it, get an idea of what the content is, and then view these videos because I lay out the, co the core concepts in as plain a language as possible. And then here's that Applia link again. So up at the top to navigate through the course site, there's like a little trail of breadcrumbs up here, or of course you can also use the, the back arrow button. But uh, that uh, will take you back to the main page, uh, and the content of the course is organized into modules. The first module is made of the fir first four chapters, uh, and the second module is four chapters, and, the, and then uh, the last couple of modules just have uh, fewer chapters than there three chapters and then uh, two chapters. The exams, there's four exams altogether. The first two exams uh, you have to take, unfortunately with uh, the way the schedule is, you have to take them 
um, as you're starting the next unit's worth of work. But the last two exams, I've been able to carve out time so that you just have a week uh, with no other competing requirements to just focus on getting the exam done. So the best way, let's see, and take a quick look at the syllabus. If you change it from the share to the viewing mode up top, that allows you to navigate using the links through the syllabus. And I encourage you to print the, the class schedule out and put it on your fridge so you can keep up um, with all the activities and when they're due. And so there's also uh, information about me. There's my picture. Um, and my office is located in the psychology department, education building, sixth floor, uh, room 626. And I'll also post my office hours. And uh, there's also other useful links um, under course resources for the exams. Um, I give you an exam handout. And I'll provide more information as, as we get a little closer about uh, what the exams are all about and how to be successful on them. So that's a brief introduction. Just wanted to welcome you to the course and uh, looking forward to working with you.